Well, the press has spent months encouraging the story that Russia somehow hacked the U.S. election. So it really means something if even reporters are now put off by Hillary Clinton's recent statements to that effect. Today, NBC News reporter Andrew Mitchell said that Clinton's claims about that are not backed by evidence. She's drawing a conspiracy theory. Uh, she doesn't have the evidence, but she is obviously hoping that this is what that Robert Mueller and what the congressional committees could do. And she's also not blaming herself. Richard Goodstein is a Democratic strategist and a former advisor to Hillary Clinton. He agrees with Clinton that her defeat was due to, quote, outside forces. It is great to see you tonight. Not easy to find someone who will defend this. So just no. since I know you know a lot of the subject, um, Mrs. Clinton yesterday referred to Macedonian operatives that played a key role in her defeat. Um, can you explain the role of Macedonian operatives in her loss? Uh, let me just say one thing. We acknowledge tragedies in a show like this that happened earlier that day. I, I think pulling out of this climate deal was a tragedy for future generations uh -huh. and, and for the economy. Just to ask the CEOs of Dow and GE and Apple and, and others. So I know that's not what this segment is yeah, about. But, but, you're, but you're, you're in mourning. Uh, but I, I bet I, if I it, asked it, you it, what it was in the Paris the, Agreement, oh, you oh, would oh, know. I, no, actually, I'm one of the few people okay. you have sitting at this table oh, okay. who then, does. That makes you nearly unique. But let's get so back let's to talk this, about, the so, question of the, the Macedonian, right. the secret mass. Who, are, who were the Macedonians? Look, what she was talking about, and which is well documented, it's why 17, our 17 intelligence agencies said, without qualification, that the Russians were behind the subversion of the elections. So, but she's talking about I, the Macedonians. Who were these Macedonians? She, Hillary Clinton tried to become president six months ago. And right. yesterday on live TV with Kara Swisher, she said the Macedonians did that. this, these agents. Right. Who were I they? Think we, I think we saw reports of that as well. They were also working in cahoots with the Russians and WikiLeaks. Look, How does the, she the, know that? The, the fact, look, what we know are the facts. The facts are that a couple days before the Democratic Convention, WikiLeaks drops these emails that are very damaging to Debbie Wasserman Schultz, creating a little bit of chaos there. Right. We know that Roger Stone boasts about his conversations with Assange, WikiLeaks, and boasts about how Podesta is going to be in the barrel. And then the hour after Access Hollywood, as Hillary said yesterday, the Podesta emails get dropped and dropped and dropped. And Dick Cheney called it an act of war. So your wow. beef is not with was me. Was Dick Cheney involved in Macedonian? Well, I, I'm just saying, your beef is with If you don't agree with that, you have a complaint with I, him, I, I not don't so think, much with I me. don't think Dick Cheney is arguing that the Macedonians stole the election from Hillary Clinton, but she is arguing that. And I have to be honest with you, you've been around a long time. I know a ton of Democrats here in Washington. I don't know one of them who isn't shocked by what Hillary Clinton said yesterday, oh. attacking the Democratic Party, attacking Barack Obama's DNC, when she had twice the money of Donald Trump. That's not speculation, it's a fact. When the sitting president of the United States put everything on the line for her, and she attacks, in effect, Barack Obama yesterday. I mean, far be it for me to defend Obama, yeah. but that's insane. Yeah. He really tried hard to get her elected, he and did. he failed. He and did. she's attacking him now. Uh, I, look, the fact that we, Obama was criticized for not being more hands-on about the DNC. Look. Charles just said what a horrible, horrible candidate Hillary was. This horrible candidate got three million more votes than this phenom, Donald Trump, and got more primary okay, votes okay. than Barack Obama. Okay, but, but hold on. She, look, she lost, and there are a lot of reasons why. Right. But to turn around and blame the Democratic Party, which was all in for Hillary Clinton, and the DNC, even her former aide, Patty Sleaze Doyle, yesterday said, come on now, this is yeah. a horrible thing to do. As a Democrat, how can you defend that? Look, her principal beef is with Comey. The fact of the matter is, if you look at the polls... I thought it was with the Russians. She, she's up... Well, she is too. The principal one is with Comey. If you look at the polls... But what about the, sexism? The, the day of the Comey letter, she's up six. And by the time all the dust settles, every single morning for the next week, the mainstream media is talking about the Comey letter and undecided, as a result, break for but Trump what did she in do? those few swing I, I, I've heard the theory. What did she do wrong, though? She said, I take responsibility for what I did wrong, but I, I never heard what exactly she did wrong. How did she mess up? She must be culpable in this, too. She lost her second election in a row. Right. So what, what specifically did she do wrong? Uh, I think what she would say is if she had to do all over again from a messaging standpoint, she would say something along the lines of, I know how to create 22 million new jobs. I was in the White House when that happened. And so this business about what Trump said about creating jobs with, would be an illusion. Because she, my husband did it. Well, therefore. because she was there and she knew, as opposed to, look, we, we now know have somebody who doesn't really know that Frederick Douglass is not alive. Wait, he thinks wait, that Andrew so, Jackson so, was around for the Civil yeah, War. And, and he won. So I guess, I guess what you're saying is if only she'd had a different message, but isn't the message the same as the campaign? Look, that entire campaign is built around a message. So you're conceding that she had the wrong message. That's like saying the car's ready, it just has no engine. No, because the fact is, 
the message was great until the Comey letter. Again, she was up six points. What was the message which, before that? She was up six points, which was more than Obama was up right. oh, 10 days but out. What was before the I covered it. I can't remember. What was the message before the Comey letter? Well, she was basically saying to the middle class, with, with help that you're going to get, whether it's through education or research and development or job training and, and all the things, you know, child care. All the things that, frankly, we've seen Congress, frankly, say no, no, okay, no so to. I just want to be totally clear. So what she did wrong, because this is a key question. What did she do wrong? She said herself she did. She had this great message that you couldn't explain very well. But, well, but, I'm but sorry, whatever. you didn't like it. But she should have changed it. was working it. until she the Comey letter. She should have changed it to something else after the Comey letter. She changed her message after the Comey letter, but she didn't? Is, no. that, is that what she did wrong? I'm saying that the Comey letter was so serious. There were 50-fold more research. What should she have done? There were 50-fold more, she have done? more searches for Clinton FBI after the Comey letter. There was a big distraction. So you can laugh, Tucker. I'm but laughing. again, the I'm message laughing. was working. She would have been seen as a genius. I get it. I but Dessa would be a genius. Look, I think Comey hurt her. I've said that 100 times on this yeah. show. I just want to know what she did wrong, and neither you nor she can oh. give me a clear oh, account of it. Oh, I'm telling you. And I that's think very the telling. message should have been all about more about jobs and less kind of frankly stronger together. It would just be about jobs, jobs, jobs. And oh. I think she had a credible case because when she was living in the right. White House, 22 million then jobs were created. why did she say it? I, you know, I think when you have her on the show, you'll have to ask her. Because if you can't get your message right, then why would we elect you president? Oh, because she, you know, she was had the confidence, <laughs> the core confidence right, that we okay. now pray for, uh -huh. that we pray for in this I country. She seemed kind of nuts actually yesterday and today, but whatever. Uh -huh. that, that's just my view. Okay. It was great to see you. Thank you Thanks for that. Thanks for having me back.